Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dark Queen of Kryn. Okay, let's head into the special attraction of Lord Destry's Sideshow. Come one, come all to this very special attraction. Sure you're up for it? There's still time to turn back. Last chance. The Lich vanishes again. Well, yeah, we could turn back, but there isn't exactly anywhere to go. Door is locked. Undead attack! Oh, are we getting more um, death dragons? We are. A wraith? Oh. Oh dear. Um. Well. Um. This definitely calls for delayed blast fireballs. Can't get any farther back there. Okay. Oh, got a weekend. Uh, email. Weekend. What the hell was that? Ah, 90 damage to that. Very nice. Time to die. Do not. Do not. Turn. Ooh, nice. Oh, she's on her last delayed blast fireball. That's unfortunate. She can hit there. That will not get that specter, so we'll hit there. Now, I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed there. And it helps if I actually equip the footman's dragon lance. She doesn't have the uh, Mace of Disruption. I gave it to Ald. That's rather annoying. Alright. Kill that, please. Uh. Thank you. You can just guard back here. You two, d d what? No. Uh. Fine. Well, that worked out at least. Um, so only nine thousand experience points for killing all those death dragons. That is crazy. They had one hundred twenty hit points. You have found a circlet of gold. Take it. Absolutely. Who takes a circlet of gold? All of them. Right, needs experience. Uh, old still can't go up a level. Can we fix? Can we rest? Let's get our delayed blast fireballs back. And we're interrupted. A horde of specters discover you in the corridor. Lord Destries doesn't allow vagrants in the circus. You go now! Damn it. Oh, that's... That's not good. Now let's turn all the specters. Um, did we actually turn all the specters? Alright, so now we've got Spectral. Oh my lord, those have a lot of hit points. I hope these things can't drain. Well, let's play it safe. Yeah, I got your turn undead right here. Smidgen disappointing. Like I said. I got your turn on dead right here. Still, a smidgen disappointing. Pretty sure they can't be turned. That didn't work. That did. Come on, it's Elias. Thank you. Um, get off that, get back into the longsword. Alright, you're not 
gonna be able to kill that one. Uh. You can. 1,000 experience points. Okay, I think we have enough spells. Uh, let's see. I thought I was supposed to get attacked by... Uh... Oh, that's right. Okay. Let's go ahead and save it first. Not so fast, we have a new vacancy. I think you would look make a lovely attraction as undead. I I disagree. Oh my Let's put a few guys. We got ghosts. We got zombies. Those zombies seem to have more hit points than they should. A vampire may oh do not like. Lich with 104 hit points. And yeah, it's more vampire mages. Hit that one first, please. Um, I have no good, real good moves. So I guess we'll just kill some ghosts. Turn on dead. Damn it, I didn't want to turn the lich. Uh, hold on. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, hopefully without turning the, uh, um, the lich. There we go. Don't delay this for me. Yeah, we'll take out most of those guys. Uh, the vampires have fire shields. Lovely. How about... Could do Dispel Evil. For some reason I thought she had um, Blade Barrier. Oh, but she does have... Oh, seriously? Oh, boo. Yeah, just abort it. Okay, so... Delayed Blast Fireball didn't do anything on them, did it? I'm not sure if Kona Cold is going to either. I gotta do something to keep them from casting. Magic Missile's not going to do it. Ice Storm might be too low level. Hold Monsters, I don't think it's going to work. Crap, this doesn't look good. They might have Globes of Invulnerability. Now let's try it. it might have just been Magic Resistance or something. Magic resistance, okay. Did, uh, yeah, I did get that thing, okay. She also does not have, uh, all right, well, just turn. work. That worked. Okay. And I got the Lich. Hopefully the Lich has some treasure. It did not. That is disappointing. Uh, oh well. I got the Lich at least. And I got my spells back. There's a teleporter here. Do you step into it? Yes indeed. Okay. We are back against uh, the wall here with the uh, um, 
that oracle, the fake oracle. Uh, there's another teleporter. Where does that go? Let's see. I'll figure out where that one goes. Okay. We can do this one now. There's a teleporter here. Do you step into it? Yes. There's a chest here. It appears unlocked. Will someone open it? Sure. And I get more monies. Yay. Because that's really what I need. Oh no! It was a mimic. Oh dear. A translucent figure stands guard before a door. You may not enter, it announces resolutely. Resolutely, what will you do? Let's talk. Um, let's befriend him. The specter lowers a sword. It has been a long time since anyone has taken heed of my tale. This is recorded as journal entry three. Yay, another journal entry. <clears throat> the guard's tale. Eons ago, before the Minotaurs arrived on the shores of Christophon and claimed the city for their own, my wife and I were members of royalty. The Minotaurs forced us into slavery, and we labored each day with barely enough food to survive. With our children starving, my beloved wife stole some crusts of bread. An old cow caught her, and we were both quickly sentenced to an eternity of agony. My wife was locked in a cell where each day she perishes anew from hunger. I was condemned to stand guard at the door, lest anyone try to rescue her from this misery. The only thing that will break this spell is the heart-shaped key, which will unlock the door and unite us again. Alas, the key was hidden ages ago, somewhere in the depths of the tomb. Do you have the heart-shaped key that will free my beloved? Well, yeah, actually, it just so happens that I do. Thank you, stranger. I beg you, give me the key that will end her suffering forever. Give him the key? Sure, why not? Yay, I gained experience. The spectre hastily takes the key and inserts it into the lock and turns it. With trembling hands, he slowly pushes the door open. My beloved? He whispers. Slowly, the transparent image of a beautiful woman emerges. You know, it's kind of funny how these spectres here on Talidus look an awful lot like uh, Salamic Knights. From the darkness, My husband, finally we are reunited. The spectres embrace each other and kiss passionately. Slowly, the, they slump down as they dissipate their bodies melting together and then fading away. You have found a piece of the oracle. As you take the second piece, the whispered, whispery voice recites a short verse. This is recorded as journal entry 28. Journal entry 28. Present. Find the realm where Tremor is lord. Choose the right present to add to his hoard. I guess it sounds like someone's a dragon. Gotta give him a gift of some kind. Anything here? No? No? Okay, fine. Be that way, game. Don't give me treasure. Uh, okay, so we've gotten two pieces of the uh, oracle. Um, not sure exactly how many are left. Probably two. There's a door back there. Let me check to see if I want to do that just yet. This place is really big. Oh, actually, there's uh, something else I want to do first. Moonshadow detects a trap door here. There's a ladder leading down into the inky darkness. Do you descend? I think I can do this part. Number Hulk slumber toward you. Well, damn it. Oh, let me let me go ahead and pause. Let's be some steps. Okay. Took care of those Umber Hulks. You hear pitiful crying from ahead. Um, uh, I thought something was supposed to happen when I came in here. A ghostly figure stands before you. Help me, help me, it cries mournfully. 
Release me from this hell. Do you have the circlet of gold? Please answer me. Do you have it? I think I do. Do you give it to him? Sure. Congratulations. Party gains experience. The circlet. Thank you, kind strangers. May the gods bless and protect you forever. Farewell, my dear friends. With a cry of ecstasy, the ghostly figure vanishes. As he fades away, his armor, sword, longbow, and a pouch clatter to the ground. Ooh, what do we get? What do we get? Mmm, some money that's worthless. Ooh, a fine longbow. Let's detect. None of it is magical, but we'll take the plate mail anyway. And a fine longbow. Uh, Crow can take that. And we'll leave the longsword. As you look through the items, you find a tiny piece of a statue. You have found a piece of the oracle. As you recover the third piece, the voice of the oracle relates a prophecy. This is recorded as Journal Entry 34. Journal Entry 34. Friends, a dragon you'll meet more mighty than all. To stop its rampage, seek help from three friends. The black-robed, the winged ones, and also the small. Ew. Okay. I guess we'll have to see about that at some point in the future. The ladder leads up to a trapdoor. Do you climb up? Yes, indeed. Let's go ahead and save it. Uh, duh. Sorry, got distracted for a second. All right. There's a there's an ornately carved golden door here. An engraved plaque reads, "He who disturbs the dead shall receive no mercy." There's a keyhole in the middle of the door. Do you wish to use the gold key or the rusted key? Uh, let's use the gold key. Who will try the key? Ald can. As Ald inserts the gold key, it begins to glow red hot. After a few seconds, it turns by itself and you hear a soft click. As the door opens, the key melts in the lock. Woohoo! The sickening stench of decay fills the passage. Alright, um... So there's... Near the end of this place, there's going to be two possibilities of where we want to go. We actually want to go to the harder place, because we will get some good stuff. But, until then... Whee! Okay, I missed what that said. I'll be slower. I think it said something about it descending deep, deeper into darkness or something like that. Uh, let's see if we can fix rest. The room is filled with smashed coffins. Their former inhabitants lie scattered in pieces. A single coffin remains intact, leaning upright against the north wall. Do you open the coffin? Sure. As Ald opens the coffin, ghostly figures pour out. Oh darn. More undo. Skeleton warriors. Lots and lots of other undead, including vampire thieves. Well, this calls for... Where's my shield? I don't have my shield anymore. I got rid of my shield? Oh well. A little disappointed that that didn't... That's it? Alright. Gotta go for the uh, um, manual turn undead. Or maybe not. It's only affecting some of them. Oh. That should have worked on the skill. Well, they do have... They're not completely immune to magic, that's right. Seriously? How many hit points do you have left? Thirteen. It's not going to be enough to kill you. Damn it. Uh. 
Well, I do have, uh... I do have some restoration scrolls, so I guess I can use those. Dot me. Thank you. Thank you. Nope. At least Mesa Disruption does lots of extra damage to them. Nope. All right. That's no good. Restoration. sure how many she had before, but she's back up to an... No, actually, I'm not sure how much, what her experience should be. Probably lost a lot. So a couple of those were worthless. Well. Oh, and I gotta memorize a lot of extra spells again. How did she learn lose the burning hand spell? She doesn't have an eighth level uh H spell either. That's a little annoying. Let's go ahead and rest. How many delayed blast fireballs? Uh, only one right now. Because it's a new moon. Alright, you know what? Actually, I'm going to pause it. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to redo that battle. I don't want to deal with the drain. So I'll be right back. Okay. Much better. While searching, you uncover a secret door within the coffin. Okay. Now we're through here. What do we have? An aura of peace fills this chamber. Coffins line the walls. Above each is a holy symbol. Crow speaks up. These are the resting places of holy men. We should leave them alone. Uh, sounds good to me. There's a teleporter here. It is shattered and lifeless. A sign above it reads, Maze of Columns. Maze of Columns? But that be a legend? They say big treasure in there. But those that go in don't come out. That's uh, okay. We'll come out. As you enter this chamber, you are awed by its magnificence. Standing before you, gleaming in the torchlight, is a huge statue of a regal man. At the feet of the statue lies a huge sarcophagus, shattered and picked clean. Only a few bones remain of the ancient king of Christophal. Excuse me. Well, sucks for him. That be it? This big tomb, tomb would come close to dying for? Amid the rubble of the destroyed of the destroyed wall, you find a tiny piece of a statue. You found a piece of the oracle. As you pick up the fourth piece, the voice warns of new enemies. It was recorded as Journal Entry 8. Journal Entry 8. Landed. 
You followed the monsters that landed ashore. They killed and they burned, but also found friends in the men who bring fact to the dire sharkmen's lore. Hmm, sharkmen. Maybe were sharks? Nah, probably not. Oh, hey, cave area. All right, this place is going to be a pain in the butt to navigate through. The passageway is dark and smells of rotted carrion. Lovely. How pleasant. Tiny bats flutter around you and then fly away. Fly away, little bats, fly away. Something be wrong here. Been fry to been free to go too long. Where be all the monsters? Um I guess he meant free. Who knows, Elias? Who knows? Who knows? Ah, there we go. That's what I want. Suddenly, monstrous step out of the shadows. A vampire calmly walks up to you. He extends his hand, and you see a piece of the oracle nestled in his palm. Welcome. This is what you came. Is this what you came for? I hope it wasn't too hard gathering the pieces we scattered around for you to find. I don't think you'll be needing this piece. He casually tosses it to the floor. I can predict your future quite easily. You are going to die. The vampire snaps his fingers in the undead attack. Lyrics. Oh, and they're behind us too. Lovely. Vampire me. Oh, crap. That is a lot of them. Okay. Um, I guess I'll start over here. Kill that guy. Blade Blast Fireball. Are there any groups without a Vampire Mage? Probably not. Probably each have one, don't they? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. Start up there. Turn? Nothing happens. Oh, that's... Probably should have cast some spells before I did this. Oh, something's casting. Is it this one? It's that one. Well, the good news is uh, we can hit those two groups. have liked to have done more damage, though. Ow! Damn you. Hmm. He hasn't been damaged yet. There we go. Turn. Oh. Looks like someone's casting. Ow! Island we get strained. Okay, I'm gonna have to redo this battle. Ow. Ow. <laughs> He's almost dead now. Um. Yeah, she got drained, so she has no more, uh, um. Delay Blast Fireballs. Lovely. again. I got the specters at least. Nice. And it didn't do anything. Oh, 
drained again. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks. So yeah, had to disintegrate tons of, wow, he only has two hit points left? That's pretty horrible. Um, take out those vampire mages, please. Thank you. That's a lot of draining going on. Ooh, just barely missed him. Good. Uh, let's go with another Delayed Blast Fireball. And that did nothing. Thank you, game. Thank you. Uh, well, I do have uh, a bow, so I'll go ahead and switch to that. Can you turn? No. I'll do the same thing with you. More draining. Lovely. Uh. There we go. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to have to uh, reload and try that again. People are going to go up lots of level. Well, maybe not. And all we get is money for it. You found a... Okay, well, we'll do this. Um, I'll actually end the video after this and pick it up in the next episode. You have found a piece of the Oracle. When you take the final piece, the whispery voice describes dire events. This is recorded as Journal Entry 62. Journal Entry 62. Another. I see flames and an egg and a crack and a head. Then another and another and another and more. She rises up, the Queen of the Dark. She conquers and rules, leaving only the dead. It doesn't seem like such a good thing to rule. Congratulations, party gains experience. Thanks, game. Yeah. Oh, his status is just dead. Lovely. All right, well, I'll see you in the next episode as I uh, after I've redone that battle. See you then.